hello guys welcome back to my channel in this tutorial you will learn how to design something like this in adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started now go to your file then select new then enter the dimension in this tutorial then over here i'm going to use 5.167 inches then by 7.167 inches then you leave your resolution at 300 rgb for social media post then you great then i'm going to use a guideline over here follow the setting i'm using Then click OK. Then this is your guideline layout. Now I'm going to import this image over here. Then click and drag it to your Photoshop. Scale it out. OK. Now I'm going to create a solid color using this code over here 0043C0. Then you click OK. Then change the blending mode to color. Then it will give you this. So over here, this is the dimension and the color code I use. Now I'm going to import this flower, then drag it to the top, duplicate it, right click and change the orientation. Okay. So now I'm going to create a rent angle. Then turn off the stroke, I mean the fill color and apply a stroke. Then increase it by 4%. Then double click over here to bring your layer style. Then apply color overlay and use this color code. So you can see the color code over here. All right. Then click OK. Then apply vertical and horizontal alignment. Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then I'm going to increase the size to 5%. Then hold your Alt key while you reduce the size. Now I'm going to copy my text, Ctrl plus C to copy, select your text tool or you press T using your keyboard. Ctrl plus V to paste. I'm using the font poppings. Now reduce the font size. Position it over here. Then 
now i'm going to duplicate the test control plus j to duplicate then control plus a to highlight it go to your test document to copy control plus c to copy then control plus v to paste then control plus j to duplicate and drag it down control plus a to highlight it go to your test and copy this one then control plus v to paste now i'm going to apply vertical alignment then control plus d to deselect and i'm going to make the font bold by selecting medium and increase the font size it's okay like this then duplicate it Ctrl plus A to alight it. Then Ctrl plus A to select all. Apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect. Ctrl plus J to duplicate the test over there. Then you drag it up over here and bring it down. Then highlight it. Ctrl plus A. Go to your test documents and copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Alight all again using your Ctrl plus A. Apply vertical alignment. Ctrl plus D to deselect. So what I do is to duplicate. So I'm going to duplicate often in this tutorial then and uh, apply copy and paste So in this area, I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Copy the font from here. Then Ctrl plus V to paste and you pick the font increase the font size so let's fast forward a little bit once again as we are using the same pattern
So here I'm going to create a rectangle line and change the color to black. Then duplicate it. Bring this one and position it over here. Then also duplicate it again. And drag this one over here. Then I'm going to duplicate the test. Then you drag it up. Position it over here. Highlight it. Then I'm going to type manually. Use your arrow key then to bring it backward. Hold your control key or shift key to select and adjust it. So as you can see, I apply zoom in and zoom out. So that zoom in and zoom out is to enable me to see the outcome of the test before I proceed. So, okay, what I did there is to change the font's boldness from regular to medium or semi-bold. So, that is what I did over there. So, now I'm going to fast forward why I'm grouping the text and the background. So over here now, this is the last thing I'm going to import. Then I'm going to position the lever over here. It's okay. Then duplicate it. And I will take this one around this position. Then you can rotate it to any dimension you want. Then also I'm going to duplicate it and take this one over here then you can also then rotate it to any dimension you want so that is all in this tutorial thank you so much for watching please if you like this video don't forget to share like